All right, you guys, here we are. Um, we're gonna learn how to make this cute little turtle today. This is a level one. Anybody could make this turtle. A little kid, kindergartner for sure, can make this turtle. Um, even smaller, really. Um, this is a great small kid project, but it's also fun for adults. Like I had a ton of fun making this. Um, all right, so we'll get started. You wanna wear something that you can get dirty or you wanna wear an apron. Um, your surface, if you don't have a wood table like this, like I, I made this wood table and it's unfinished so that clay doesn't stick to it. Um, but if you wanna use newspaper, that's a good thing to use. Um, also, you can use, um, if you do use newspaper, I would tape it, tape it down so the newspaper doesn't lift up when you're trying to make your project. That makes it kind of frustrating. Um, otherwise, really, you could get this off most any surface, especially if it's got a finish on it, like a countertop or a, a different type of wood table. Um, all right, so we're going to get started. We have our toothpick, and we have a little bit of water here, and that's all we need to make this little guy until he's ready to paint. This is air-dry clay um, because this is a take-home project. Um, we don't want to have to worry about making air bubbles and wedging clay. That way it doesn't explode in the kiln. So this, we're using air dry clay so that you can just keep it at home and paint it at home. You don't have to worry about it blowing up on you. All right, let's see. Okay, so to start this little guy, we're going to cut our little block. I don't, your block might not be a rectangle like this. It might be circular. It might be square, but you want to break it into three pieces. So I usually like will make a little measurement with my stick here and then I take it and I twist it like where that's at, where my little line is, twist it. All right, so we are going to take, we're gonna find the two that are the closest in size. Looks like these guys are probably the closest. And we're going to set this guy aside. We're going to do this one second and this one third. So we'll keep them in line. This will be your first piece. We're going to actually pinch this piece out into a circle. You can either bang it on the table or squish it. Once I get it squished, I like to pinch it out with my hand and my palm. Or you can pinch it out with just your thumbs. The thickness you want is the thickness of an Oreo cookie. So we're gonna thin this out until it's about the thickness of an Oreo cookie, trying to keep it as round as possible. You can push little dips in to round it out. You can roll it on the table to round it out. If your um, clay is cracking, you can get some water and add some water to it and then rub your cracks out. Um, I usually don't do that till the very end because you are playing with a lot so it is going to get a lot of cracks and then you can clean it up at the very end. Alright, so we're getting this a little thinner. Let's make it a little bit thinner. We want to make sure we don't go any thinner than an Oreo cookie because then it's going to be weak and might break. But we don't really want any thicker than an Oreo cookie because then it's going to take forever to dry. All right. So I feel like that looks pretty good. We're like an Oreo cookie there. All right, and now I'm going to pick which side's my favorite. This side looks a lot, this side's cracked, and this side looks a little bit smoother. It's going to be the bottom anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We've got our little circle. Obviously that's gonna be part of either the top or the bottom. We're gonna set that aside and we're gonna take our next piece and we're gonna roll it out. We're gonna roll this out until it's about this thick. So like as thick as like your mom or dad's finger. Um, what else would it be the thickness of? Um, I don't know, like a pickle maybe, the little pickle jars, the little snackums. So we're going to roll this out thin, thick, 
if you're a kid, it's going to be thicker than your fingers, but thinner than like a hot dog or something. Roll this out. And I'm just pushing down, rolling and kind of stretching it with my fingers. I'm trying to get all the spots about the same thickness. And trying to keep it kind of round. That looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna measure now. We've got our little circle here. We want it to go past the circle about an, half an inch to, to an inch on each side. I'm gonna make a mark right there. And then we're gonna twist that off. You can cut it with your, you can cut it with your um, toothpick too, or you can just twist it. Um, we're gonna do two of this size. So you can just cut it like that too, but be careful because these are kind of fragile. So we've got two that size, and then we're gonna cut, we're gonna make this about like two inches long total. So we're gonna go like this. And I like to twist it just because it's funner. And this one's a little bit longer, but whatever. We can break that off at the end if we want to. We might actually like it longer, so we'll leave that. All right, so we've got our pieces. Now we're gonna start attaching some things. What's gonna happen is these are gonna end up being the legs that are coming out the side of our turtle here. And then one of these is gonna be the head and one of these is gonna be the tail. So we got to get that going. So I've got these crossed all perfectly here. I'm actually going to push it down a little bit. Not a lot. I'm just going to push it down so I can trace it. I'm going to trace this on here with my toothpick. And then I'm going to take these off. So this won't stick down good to this unless you make what's called like clay glue. The easiest way to make clay glue is to use water and scratch up the surface of what you're trying to stick together. So we'll scratch this surface because we're gonna stick them right here, right? We're gonna scratch this up all crazy. And actually the crazier you make this, the better it's gonna stick together. If you just did like a couple like this, nothing's gonna happen. So you really wanna like scratch it up. You don't have to go super deep but you want like the pieces to kind of like be sticking up and having lots of rough edges. So we're scratching this up. And also you guys pause this video if I'm going too fast for you so I don't leave you in the dust there. All right, we are scratched up pretty good. We want it to look kind of crazy. All right, so this is the top of mine here. So I'm gonna, it doesn't really matter. I guess we could do one at a time. I'll show you guys one at a time. So we got like this much overhanging. So we're gonna scratch up the middle of this. All different directions. Scratch it up. And what's gonna happen here when we put these together is it's gonna have little danglies on it that are gonna hopefully grab each other and then it's gonna create like a bond. So what we need the water for now is we're gonna add some water to wherever we're sticking this down at and that's gonna help it become stickier and create the bond better. So we're gonna do this layer first. I'm not rubbing like all the little marks out. I'm just kind of like smoothing the water in so we're gonna put our scratches down on our scratches and we're gonna push it down. And hopefully you'll see like a little bit of water coming out. And you got like the same amount hanging over on both sides for his legs. We're gonna scratch up this bit because we're gonna cross these pieces. 
this other piece is gonna cross over. And obviously you guys use the pointy side for this scratching part. All right, so we know that this about this much is gonna hang over. So we're gonna scratch up this. The scratching part is kind of fun. Just like take it out, scratch it up, all crazy like. Oh. All right, that looks nice and scratched up there. I'm gonna add some water to this. I'm like just dabbing it on there with my finger. And then we're gonna add this piece over the top, making sure the same amount is overhanging on both sides. And then go ahead and push it down. And push this a little flatter down in the middle. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we gotta decide which one of these pieces is gonna be our head and which one's gonna be our tail. See on this guy, he's got like a shorter head and a longer tail, so it's up to you. Maybe we'll make this one have the, um, have a longer head and a shorter tail and switch it up a little bit. I like to make the tail pointy though. So to make the tail pointy, you kind of like, you can either pinch it, actually, which is probably the easiest, probably just pinch it, pinch it out pointy. And we're gonna trace this on here. And then you can trace this on here. That way you know where to scratch. Scratch it up. Both sides. And then decide which side's the top and the bottom. This side's got a little mark in it, so we're gonna make that the bottom. So I'm gonna scratch up this side. I mean, I could smooth that out, but might as well pick the good side to go up. And then we'll scratch this. And we'll add some water. Don't forget the water. The water is pretty important, actually. All right, so we're gonna stick this guy on, push him down, stick the head on, push it down. And I bet you guys came to figure out what we're doing after this, right? We're making the top turtle shell. So we're gonna set this aside. That's all nice and stuck down. And we're gonna basically do the same exact thing we did for the first step, which is make this a nice flat, round piece, about as thin as an Oreo cookie. So go ahead and do that, and you can keep checking it to see if it's the same size. Pinch it out. You can use both hands. You can pound it. That's kind of noisy. We're getting close to the same size, it looks like. measure. Looks pretty good. We're going to go a little smidge bigger. Because we don't want to go too much thinner than this. That's pretty good. All right. So this is the ugly side. So I'm going to make that the bottom. That side looks pretty good. So I'm going to scratch up this whole bottom. You don't have to be any precise way about it. Just start scratching it up. You do want it pretty scratched though, because we don't want his top shell to come off. That would be a bummer. Make sure you're scratching it in all different directions. It looks kind of crazy and bumpy and rough. <clears throat> and then we are going to bring this back over and scratch this up. 
And you want to scratch in these little spots too because you're going to push it down right here. So anywhere that it's going to go. So like inside these lines. Don't scratch beyond that because then you're just going to have to fix those up. down here make sure we're going both directions uh oh gizmo's here hope you don't see her gizmo's the cat she's on the table Hi, Gaze. You need some water? Don't drink this water. You're silly. Oh, bonk. Okay, so we've got, it looks like, this side to scratch up still. What am I doing, Gaze? You can't sit on my lap, dork. All right. We're nice and scratched up, so we're going to add some water to this. I always like to add water to the bottom piece. That way I'm not picking up something wet and trying to move it. So I'm going to add water to this bottom piece that's laying flat. Make sure you add it to all the spots and then all the cracks. And then we're going to put this guy right on top and smudge him down. No, don't drink that. It's got clay in it. Okay. So it's coming to shape. Look. Okay. So we're pushing this on. We want it to stick down really good. We don't want the shell to come off later. It feels pretty good. Now we're going to pick him up. And we're going to kind of like push down all his little edges here. Make sure all the edges are pushed down. Secured together. But don't get rid of this line because it kind of shows you that he's got a top and a bottom shell. So that's kind of fun. Because when you go to paint him, you can make the bottom shell a different color and the top shell a different color. Okay, so this is his tail, the pointy one. So we want to squish him down like this kind of bend him but be gentle Giz. no and then you gotta turn his feet down so he can stand and turn his feet all right so let's see if he can stand all right that looks pretty good all right, so now we gotta give him kind of like a face. I always smush the front of his face in. Kind of smush it in, because they got like a square nose. We don't want it to be pointy. And then I take the toothpick, and I make him a little mouth just by pushing the toothpick in. And then you can like open his mouth a little bit if you want to. Turtles have like weirdly small heads, so I give them nostrils, but I don't give them eyeballs with the stick. I like to paint the eyeballs on, but nostrils are like actual holes. I don't even know if t t turtles have nostrils, but we'll just pretend they do. And then this is the point where you can take the water and rub out any cracks you don't like. So basically at this point, you're going to touch it up, making everything nice and smooth. Or you can leave it cracked, you know, gives it some character. It's not going to get like super perfect. All right, so he's pretty much done. He or she. And you're gonna let this dry for about two days. And it's gonna be nice and hard and then you're gonna be ready for painting. I 
when you paint him, don't forget to give him some eyes. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. You can make him looking up. He's pretty cute. He looks even cuter after you paint him. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.